Hi, and welcome. Three questions with got my buddy Ron Pescatore with us. And Ron is a plumber. Hey, Ron. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. <laughs> hey, Kevin. How are you doing today? So, Ron, I was thinking of you last week because it started to get cold. And oh, yeah, it is. It happens, but on Facebook around this time of year, I see all these posts. Hey, woke up, don't have any heat. Who knows somebody that will drop everything, come to my house right now and fix it? Shouldn't well, we be a little more proactive and test it now before it gets cold? I, I, exactly that. I've been reaching out to my customers since August, <laughs> you know, saying, you know, because you have to plan that early. You know, I have a small crew. We have, there's, there's four, four people that work for me, plus myself. We have three trucks going and I've been working seven days a week. And, and I have, I've been asking everybody since, like I said, August, think about your heating system because it's going to start getting cold. You need to have them serviced and looked at before you start turning them on and have no heat. So just to make something real simple, a couple of weeks ago, we had that cold snap. I got up. My house was 62. If only you knew someone who could help you, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, right. Exactly. So I, uh, you know, stopped what I was doing. Check out the thermostat. It was 62 in the house. Heat wasn't coming on. Yep. Went downstairs, looked at the furnace real quick, and it needed a new igniter. Guess what? Supply chains are still fractured. Yep. It took me four days to get a part that I had to order online because no one had the part. Yep. So, you know, it's you know something to think about. We can we can really resolve any problem if we plan about it. If we don't plan, we end up you know without heat for several days. Um, we could check every supply else we can, but if the part's not available, you're going to be waiting. So better to you know be proactive, check it out fast and soon. Yep. Before it's you know it's December and January and you know we're below zero. Right, and you have four days with no heat. That's going to obviously right. make an impact. That hurts. So Ron, the other question that you mentioned briefly is maintenance. You know, yeah. Ron, you find a lot of us. We're trying to save money, Ron. Plain and simple. How am I going to skip the maintenance this year? This year turns into the next year, and then we have that big problem. Because instead of spending a few dollars and having you come out and, and maintain it every year to make sure, hey, Cab, I can see that you're starting to have an issue, let's be proactive and fix it. Maintenance right. makes sense every year, right? Don't don't try to skip on it. Absolutely. And um, again, you know, for your regular homeowner customer um, that has a, an older system or a newer system and they want to keep it active and keep it working properly, a, a regular scheduled maintenance on servicing it is a is a great plus. We offer we offer maintenance and we offer um, uh, packages for just that type of work. Yep. But you know, I have some property management companies which the owners, where they have maybe several pieces of property that they collect the rent on, they're really not you know apt of being too prop, um, proactive on things. Yep. The one customer got 60 boilers and they don't service them. We're replacing one a week in that building. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. One a week. Yeah. That's that obviously they, is be a big cost for us is paying a little bit each year to make sure. Or just, you know, as a homeowner, Ron, you know, if you're getting to the point where maybe a system needs to be replaced, if you're yeah. coming out servicing it, you can put that thought in my head. It can have you probably have a year or two left on this on this furnace. You have to start considering it. So that way we can, you know, for those of us that need to do that, we can budget for it saying, geez, I better put some money aside because Ron told me, you know, it's probably one or two more years left. It just yep. saves you that, oh my God, I just have to spend all this money type of thing, right? Exactly. And I, I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give a little plug to Mass Saves. Yep. They have some great products and programs for people in need of heating systems where there's huge rebates on um, heat pump systems. Yep. You know, the mini splits where you see they all, they do heat and air conditioning. Um, people could save up around $10,000 per wow. unit, wow. Uh, you know, for a whole house heating system. Yep. That's then there's amazing. also on the high efficiency combo heaters, yep. you know, for uh, boiler, and, boiler and hot water. Um, there's huge savings right now. And also Mass Saves is also offering a, um, 0% financing for seven years. 
Nice. And, you know, we, we can help and guide these people along with, you know, what to do and how to do it. Yep. Of course, they need a, in, a proposal or estimate in hand before sure. Mass Airs will talk to them. Yep. And, um, you know, we can do that for you. You know, we can, we can you know, get an estimate to you if, it, if that's something you're looking for yep. or even just you know, your maintenance plan. We can, we can work on that as well. Awesome. Ron, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? Yep. Um, direct number 781-706-9525 or pescatory heating, oh, excuse me, pescatoryplumbingheating.com and you can schedule an appointment right on the website. Ron, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes to call into the show and as always, thanks for being my friend. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it.